Hi, niece and nephew. This is Uncle Robert. We have a serious problem today. There's a Bloomberg headline today saying that Biden is going to increase capital gains tax for the wealthy as much as 43.4%. What does this mean? Will this tank the stock market? We saw the Dow, S&P and Nasdaq all drop 1% on the news. Is the sell-off over or is there more to follow? Stay tuned. Please share this video with more friends because I feel this is going to be helpful to you. Please remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much. While many day traders pay income tax based on their tax bracket, the rich hold their stocks for long term and as a result, many of them pay 15 to 20% long term capital gains tax. This almost halves the tax liability compared to everyone else in America. Hence the term, the rich gets richer. The breaking news was Joe Biden was proposing to increase the capital gains tax rate for the rich, those with income over $1 million to 39.6%, almost doubling. This, on top of the existing surtax on investment income, would increase the capital gains tax up to 43.4%. This is huge! Not to mention, you still have to pay a local state taxes. How this defers to a corporate tax increase is that a corporate tax increase will reduce the growth rate of many growth companies, reducing their overall PE and hence their target prices. So, increasing personal capital gains tax would not affect the price valuation of companies, correct? While that is true, there are huge short-term implications. Let's look at the biggest market cap stocks because this is what most people are holding, either directly or indirectly through their 401k retirement account. Take this example. Someone who has made 380% on Apple in the past 5 years, instead of paying 70% tax, he would now have to pay 140% in taxes. Someone who has made 13,000% on Tesla from the last 5 years, instead of paying 260% in taxes, he's going to pay 520% in taxes. That is based on the original investment. In the last 5 years, Amazon has gained 430%. Instead of paying 80% in taxes, you'll now be paying 160%. Those who have been holding AMD, over the last 5 years, they have made 2,900%. Instead of paying 600% in taxes, they'll be now paying 1,200% in taxes. Another favorite, Nvidia, with 1,500% gains in the last 5 years. Instead of paying 300% in taxes, they'll be now paying 600% in taxes. Another juggernaut, Microsoft, with 360% gains in the last 5 years, instead of paying 70% in taxes, you'll be paying 140% now. These are real money. There's over $10 trillion worth of market cap in total. Who would want to pay extra 20% in taxes? As a result, all these rich people, who are also very smart people, will be trying to cash out as fast as possible. We do not know if this tax is going to be passed or if it's going to be retroactive. In either case, many smart people are trying to front-run this tax increase. Imagine trillions of dollars of stocks being sold. What's going to happen to the market? It is also true that these stocks are going to be immediately rebought. More on that later. So how long would this sell-off last? It's going to take from weeks to months until we have more certainty on the retroactive aspect on this tax. If it's not retroactive, we could see a huge selling all the way up to end of the year. Besides all these mega caps who have a lot, a lot of ownership, we have also recent COVID winners like Shopify who have gained 3,400% in the last 5 years, but most of the gains are from the last 1 year. Look at another COVID winner, Twilo. Most of the gains are from the last 1 year. Same for Roku, most of the gains are within the last 1 year. What's my point with all this, you ask? If everyone were to sell them today, they will be paying taxes on their regular tax income based on the tax bracket, not too favorable. So look at the dates over here. People got in in different times. Many people will be waiting up to a year before they are actually selling to get a lower capital gains tax while it still lasts. So for this stocks, it is important for us to look at when is the run up and plot one year out from there. But wait, are these going to be applicable to stocks only? No. Cryptocurrency gains are also going to be taxed this year. What has gained the most in the last 5 years? Check out Bitcoin. Last 5 years gains is 12,000%. You have to pay 2,400% in taxes. Or if you wait longer, you have to pay 4,800% in taxes. We have an even bigger winner in Ethereum. In the last 5 years, it has run up as much as 27,000%. So you have to pay almost 5,000% in taxes. 
or if you wait longer, you have to pay 10,000% in taxes based on the original capital. This is a really smart move from Biden. With everyone rushing to liquidate the stocks, there's going to be a huge surplus of tax income next year. Most of the gains are going to be reset to 2021. For the rich, having capital gains tax so close to the income tax bracket, we could see more trading happening, so more liquidity in the market in the future. Unless you have a controlled selling for all these huge market cap shares, you're going to see a huge crash. And this huge crash might trigger more emotional, weak-handed selling. On top of that, many people who are heavy on margin is going to get margin called and have many of the positions liquidated. Granted that equities is still one of the best ways to generate wealth, I would expect all these rich people to buy back in into the stock market. So what to do? I don't know if this tax code is going to come into reality. But I do know that many people are trying to deleverage and de-risk. Selling are going to start to happen. And if we do have a crash due to multiple selling, we know it's going to be rebut. So wise thing to do would be to reduce your positions, reduce all margin, and wait for equities to become really oversold before you nibble them in. You could see a huge rebound the next year. This might not happen if the smart millionaires sold and rebuy on the same day. With all this ahead of us, I think it's going to be very volatile. However, the growth, the economic recovery, everything is still intact. Nothing is changed. So in the long term, company profits are still going to grow. Stocks are still going to go up. But in the near future, there is opportunity. Do take advantage of this. Disclaimer, this is not investment advice. Please make your own risk assessment. If you find this useful, please share with more friends. Do remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this. It really helps me out a lot. Until next time, bye bye!